The University of Texas School of Medicine right now, it does not exist in Austin, but it could be on the way. That's because today UT made a big decision to move forward with plans to bring a medical school right here to the capital city. It's expected to transform where and how people will receive hospital treatment. KXAN's Chris Sadegi has more on how it is expected to happen. Well, Robert, anybody who's lived in Austin probably familiar with UMC Brackenridge. It's been around for years, but after today's vote, the future of this hospital is now up in the air. That's because Regents approved plans that are bigger and better. Applause and handshakes were in order because this wasn't just your average regent's vote. Today what you saw was a transformative historical vote. And it was a vote to bring a medical school to the University of Texas and Austin. Actually, I was bio major before and I switched to nursing. Dreams of being a doctor were put on hold for Jamie Zahn because in Austin there were few places to go. It just seemed that nursing was like there's more nursing program here in Austin. But all that's about to change. Seton is awaiting a Approval on a $250 million teaching hospital that would go hand in hand with the medical school. Still, there is a price. It'll cost about $35 million a year from somewhere in the community. Senator Kirk Watson says they're working on finding that money, which is very little for a whole lot. We're now going to spend time identifying that additional $35 million so that we can access that hundreds of millions that's already there. Watson says an organizing committee will help find those funds. One place where the money won't come from are the students already on campus. We will not uh, be using resources of undergraduate tuition of our non-medical students. So still a lot of details to be determined where they're going to get that $35 million a year, the location, the time frame, the future of BRAC. But as William Powers put it, the marathon is now a 10K. We're live downtown Austin. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.